what's up guys welcome back once again it is me molt so happy to be here with you guys today we are doing another episode of base reviews with molt we haven't done one of these in a while if you guys are interested in having your base reviewed go ahead and send an email to base reviews with molt at gmail.com also guys gonna start off just by mentioning cash for apps my new sponsor guys I have met so many people already that have gotten like 40 to 50 dollars an iTunes card check them out in the description and let's go ahead and jump into this so first we've got town hall 9 trophy pusher Johan on. Um, this base looks pretty good. Obviously, it's a southern teaser. Um, got a lot of walls up here just to protect from uh, people attacking from the top and whatnot. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the base. So you are um, you are protecting trophies the most, obviously. So one thing that I might consider doing is moving this uh, elixir storage and this elixir storage out to where those mortars are. Um, at least once your mortars are upgraded, then you should be uh, good to go because that el while elixir is important for trophy pushing, you don't need to protect it that much. Um, I would say having your mortar on the inside there would do a little bit better for you. Um, I like all the, uh, the bombs that you have down here, all the spring traps right down here for people that do decide to come in the southern teaser part of the base. Um, you've got your uh, wizard towers in a good little shape as well as your air defenses. Um, they make kind of a, uh, a curve around the town hall, which is good. Um, the expos are in a great spot as well. Your king and queen are um, your king and queen are in good spots. I don't think I would really move them. Uh, the clan castle is uh, also in the middle and looking really, really good. You've done a good job with your point defenses as well. You've got archer, um, archer, cannon, cannon. So that's one thing that you might want to change. Normally, I would say do archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon. Um, <clears throat> especially since the top part of the base is protected pretty well by the air defenses and the bottom doesn't have that many, uh, you might want to consider having uh, more than just one archer tower towards the bottom of the base just to help protect it a little bit more. But overall, it's a good base. It's a good southern teaser. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to Ebos the Noble. Uh, this is another Town Hall 9 base, but this is more of a farming base. Um, now, the only thing about this is it's a farming base and yet you have... Uh, you're not protecting your resources too well. I would definitely say get this thing out of here. You don't need that drill in there. Um, put your put a gold storage or something along those lines in the middle um, right there just to protect it a little bit more. Uh, I do like how big these little areas are uh, because it, it'll keep troops in them for a while. And then you've got these extra little trap areas like right here, right here right here all of that is all good so uh, great job incorporating the traps and things of that sort uh, I'm not too sure about having the bombs out here because if you're farming you're going to want to be getting gold correct yes now every time that somebody drops off a couple of barbarians over here who aren't even gonna get any gold you are losing a lot of gold because you have to um, refill those so it's okay with the little bombs but I wouldn't put giant bombs on the outside of the base uh, at all. I would put Teslas on the outside over that. So I would put a giant bomb right in here, giant bomb in here, giant bomb in here, and a giant bomb in here, and then move your Teslas to the outside. Because right now, every time you sign off, even if somebody just attacks with a bunch of goblins or archers, whatever it may be, they are going to destroy those bombs and it's going to cost you more gold to refill them. Uh, your wizards are in a good square on the base, as well as your um, mortars, as you can see right there. Same with your air defenses and your expos. The core of your base looks really, really good. Um, it's a very defensive base, though. It doesn't necessarily have um, as much loot in it as I, uh, as I would hope to see. Um, and so that's why I would say bring in some gold right here instead of that pump, because you're not going to get that much from that. Uh, and then these two sections are protected fairly well. Uh, the other two over here are not um, this one and this one. So you could, if you wanted to, move out that uh, your mortars and, um, and put something else in there. But again, that's up to you. Uh, I like the base overall, though. It's very symmetrical. And uh, yeah, the only thing that is a little bad about it is that if somebody drops wall breakers right here, right here right here or right here they're going to be getting into uh all the sections of the base so yep let's go ahead and move on 
Uh, to village edit mode. <laughs> I'm getting out to know what your name is because you're in village edit mode. I do like the base though. It looks really, really cool. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Uh, so obviously this is another Town Hall 9 farming base. Uh, first off, I would definitely say that your expos are too close together. Um, I would put a elixir storage in there and a gold storage in there and I would move your expos out. Uh, maybe put, <coughs> excuse me, maybe put an expo right there an expo right here, but they don't need to be that close in the center. Uh, you need to spread out and protect the base a little bit more. Um, it is good to see your clan castle in the middle as well, so great job with that. Uh, your mortars look good. Uh, yeah, your mortars look good. Uh, I mean, you might could spread them out, maybe put one right here and uh, one right here, and then scoot that archer tower over just to give them a little bit more of a span around the base, uh, because right now, it is a little bit narrow with it looking like this, you could have it look like this. So I would definitely consider doing that and see how that works out for you. Uh, the core of the base again looks good. I would just move the expos out. Uh, your point defenses look great. Uh, these little trap areas look good. Where are your Teslas at? All right, so your Teslas are on the outside of the base besides those two in the middle. You're upgrading three of them right now. Great, great job with that. Um, Let's see what else. So it looks, I mean, it looks pretty good. You, you got your air defenses in here in a triangle as well. I don't really think I would change too much except for moving out the expos. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the last one Shuffle Killer, level 93. This is a trophy base, obviously. He is trophy pushing right now. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and talk about this and see how we think this works out. Um, now, his air defenses are in a very interesting. Uh, position because this one's this one is in the same spot this one is in the same spot this one's in the same spot this one right here needs to be right here in order for it to be symmetrical so i might consider moving that out uh, just to um i don't know make it a little bit better and then probably move your king into the middle of the base right there uh your wizards are I guess they're fine being on the outside. I generally like to have them in a little bit more because of how good of damage they do, and yours are upgraded fairly well. So um, I might consider moving those in some, uh, but I don't know what I would replace it with. Maybe take out the loot that you have in the center. But overall, I'm, I mean, I guess, I guess they end up being fine where they are. Um, let's see, you've got your archer... Cannon, archer, cannon, archer. Cannon, good, archer. Archer. Cannon, cannon, archer. So uh, it doesn't look too bad. I definitely like the way that it's looking. You are up in Crystal 2 moving on up. You're using hogs, which is interesting. I would try using Looney and, uh, or even Barch to get up. I've, I've gotten a Masters with Barch before. Um, you can definitely do that, but I would try using Looney, and it looks like you are upgrading your minions and your factory right now, so um, that looks pretty good as well. And guys, for those of you who weren't able to get reviewed, definitely send in, and, and you might have a chance. I've got over 2,000 emails, though, <laughs> so it is slim pickings. So anything that you hear in these videos, guys, make sure that you apply to yourself. Uh, I would always say space out your point defenses, your archers, and your cannons all the way around the base. Um, and try and square off your mortars as well as your wizard towers and your um, air defenses. Your expos look good in this, and uh, I like all the little trap systems that you have. Those will work well for people attacking with giants um, and hogs and things of that sort. But for the most part, I like it. Uh, definitely keep on upgrading those walls because they need some upgrading for sure. Uh, but overall, it's a good base, guys. I had fun doing this. hope that you all enjoyed. Uh, again, make sure you all check out Cash for Apps down in the description. And as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and you clash on. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.